So in autoencoders, we have an encoder, and we have a decoder, and we have no uncertainty. But in reality, a given input could relate to many Z, and every output could be produced by many Z. In that sense, we, if we want to produce meaningful probability distributions, we need the probabilistic equivalent of autoencoders. So we want to sample good Z, a mapping from input X to a probability distribution Q of Z. Why? We want to produce good reconstructions of X for all the Z that we may sample, all the Z that we might want to consider. And we want to also correctly sample X given Z. In this view, we can also have a distribution of outputs for a given Z, P of X given Z. Now, what's the idea of the VAE networks? Let us make both the sampling operation and the stimulus generation be neural networks where we have a Q of Z being one neural network parameterized by phi, and P of X given Z be another neural network parameterized by W. So how can we measure how good they are? And if I say how can we measure how good they are, I mean we need something that we can do gradient descent on it. So the integral generally has no good solutions, it's very hard to solve it. In most cases, we can't. So instead, we use another term that's called evidence lower bound elbow. That elbow can be shown to be a lower bound to the thing that we would ideally want to optimize. Now, the elbow of x, i, phi, and w is the expected value of the probability distribution Q introduced by one of the neural networks, parameterized by phi, of the ratio of, uh, of the log of the ratio of the probability of x, i, and z uh, for the parameters w and Q uh, as a function of z and uh, phi. Now, it has two intuitive terms. The elbow has a fast term, which is a reconstruction error, uh, which is the mean squared error when p of x given z is Gaussian. What's the idea here? We want to make the observation x that I have, x i, to be probable. And in the exercise, that's log p x. And there's also a regularization term, which uh, happens to be the KL divergence from p to q. Where you can say what we want is that the network's estimated q should be similar to the actual P of Z, which is KLQP in the exercise.